You know, if you really do have a soul goal, then money, money helps, right? And, and we have a lot of hangups around money. And that is why there is an energy to wealth, because those hangups that you have, those limiting beliefs, those limiting stories, they affect whether you make money at all. I was reading um, in a group just before, um, a lady was saying how, she was sharing She was sharing how she felt seeing people sharing, seeing coaches sharing about 100K months, making 100K. She said, how is that even possible? Do, do you guys live in this ulterior universe where people have this sort of money? Who would pay that sort of money for coaching? How do you, you know, and she just, she couldn't see that it was possible and that's the thing if you don't see something as possible or you have feelings around something that are negative and limiting then you will never ever attract that into your reality you will never ever create that for yourself and so breath work where does breath work come in breath work helps you to alter your perception of basically everything potentially that has happened in your past experiences that have created these stories in the first place where do we get them from you know is it when uh, I had a client actually whose mum used to always um, use vouchers for everything and always be in the supermarket and um, you know she'd be there adding things up on a calculator to see that she could meet the budget um, things that our parents tell us, things that we see on TV shows, things that we're taught at school, they all frame these, what what is actually called the default mode network in our brain. That is where our identity is. That is where our ego is. And it's the default mode network that we quieten when we do our breath work. We shut that damn default network mode down and we start tapping into the truth. And we start tapping into your truth because you are not a sum of those experiences and the things that have been programmed into you. You have free will. You have beautiful spirit. You have absolute infinite potentiality and it's potentiality until you make the decision to turn it into potential and take action. But those actions are driven by how you feel. And so when we're in the breath work, we're quieting, quietening down that default me mode network. And it's, it's in this place when we quieten it down that we're able to change things. So listening to the guided, um, the guided breath work, we're programming new beliefs into your subconscious and they're able to imprint there because the breath work takes you into a state of neurosomatic bliss. So when we're in a state of high vibration, Vibration. So I've, I think I've talked about orga orgasms in here. When you're in an orgasm, you're 20 times more likely to create neuroplasticity. When you're in, when you're in a positive state, studies have proven when you're in a positive state, when you're a positive person, when you're optimistic, shit happens more easily for you. And when you're in a hopeless state, things don't happen as easily and, and you, you have bad luck, right? So it is around you. It's, it's everything to do with you. And so the breath work takes you into that neurosomatic bliss plus we have that beautiful intention that we start the breath work out with we always start in that tension you've created your intent statement and this is what is going to create the results that you want so if you're not breathing every day then I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna put it out to you that you are crazy you are crazy not to be breathing every day I've provided you with a, an amazing resources 22 minute breath work 22 minutes. I mean, who doesn't have 22 minutes a day to change your life? And so I am going to um, drop now into the group our link for Sunday's live breath work. And it's going to be amazing because we're going to be we're, we're going to be reprogramming your wealth, um, your wealth um, imprints so that we can put you into that energy of wealth. And I also have a little hack for you as well. If you um, you have that statement of intent, you can turn that into a powerful affirmation. So maybe, for example, your intention in 22 days, I am a published Hay House author. You take that to an affirmation. I am a published Hay House author and you get into the visualization 
of this affirmation. And if you can do that in a sauna, then you are increasing the chances that neurogenesis takes place. The creation of new brain cells, new information, new perception outside of these limiting beliefs and stories that you have that are going to drive the action that is going to create the thing that you want. So a little hack there, if you can get access to a sauna or a sauna blanket, take your statement of intent and along with your breath work every day, spend a few minutes in beautiful visualization of the affirmation and I promise you it's going to supercharge this whole challenge and I'm going to put that link for Sunday for the live breath work in the group you do have to sign up you do have to register you do have to turn up live and um, sending lots of love out to you bye bye